alaikum. My name is Muhammad Ali. I am 17 years old. I study maths, English, and personal development and employability skills at Skills Training UK. And I am a British Muslim. In primary school, I went two years to Al Khoui school, Al Sadiq, known as Al Sadiq Al Zahra school, reception in year one, and then I transferred to uh, Iranian school, which the curriculum is based on the curriculum that's in Iran, and I studied there until year nine, and then I went for a year to Iran and to the house and me of home, and I participated in the seminary and I studied for a year and then I came back to the UK. Now I'm in the UK and I studied, I entered skills training in on the 10th of December and I've been studying there ever since. Family means a place to seek refuge to peace and harmony. I find this all in my family and I would not swap my family for anything else. The people that advise me to stay on the right path are my very good friends that I have and I seek a lot of advice from them and thank God it has worked out till today and in my opinion the right path is the path that would lead to God and kindship to mankind. As a Muslim, Islam, which is my religion, means a lot to me. Islam, for me, it means the path that would lead me to all the goals that I have in life. One of the most challenging aspects that I find is presenting myself as a Muslim and basically in the society to people from different faiths. Uh, when I'm in the society, when I present myself as a Muslim, they look at me differently. For example, once in the class, the teacher brought up a misconception about Islam and it was there where I came and I defended Islam. I was the only Muslim present in the class at that time. Maintaining the daily prayers, I try to do them all every day. And basically it's something that I believe in and I think that it's important. From the aspect of performing them on time, um, I try to perform them on time. It's not always successful, but I am trying to get to the goal to perform them all on time, inshallah. When I pray, the feeling that it gives me is that I feel calm and peaceful and it gives me success in my daily life. I witness it that when I pray, my things go on better and I can get to do my things easier, quicker, and it brings barakah to my life. As a British Muslim in the UK, I feel the same as people and when want to look at if you want to look at it whether 
if I think I'm equal or not. I feel that being a Muslim is something really special that not everyone is granted with it. And I am really happy and proud of being a British Muslim. British Muslims, I think what they are looking for, what their goal is, is to have a life that, that is based on religious principles. And if we want to look at um, if they can reach their goals, sometimes in some places, people can't reach their ambitions because of the religion they're from. In the UK, it isn't that much, but you may find it in different places that it will stop them from getting to their ambitions. With regards to Islamophobia, I think that this is a serious issue and unfortunately certain organizations that it's their duty to stop this, they are not working as they could. But me as a British Muslim, if I do what I can, I think that would have an impact because every person can make a difference. I have non-Muslim friends as well at college and in public. I am close to them, we talk to each other, they sometimes give me advice, I help them with studies, they help me as well. But when we want to look at it from the aspect of friendship and always being with them, uh, no, I'm not that close to them. The month of Ramadan, for me, it means a lot. Obviously, the month that the Holy Quran was revealed and the other point is that it's a month of mercy, all of the Rahmah of the Lord, all of the mercy of God um, <clears throat> is sent down upon mankind and I fast 18 hours every year in Ramadan basically from Fajr until Maghrib and I look forward to the month of Ramadan because one of the reasons is that um, because I socialize more with people and especially the, the time we remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala obviously more in Ramadan. I spend the month of Ramadan normally with my family. With regards to the difficulties that some people may find it difficult to fast in the month of Ramadan, I personally, I don't find it difficult. I do become weak and things like that, but it's not difficulty. It's something that I put up with. My strength in Ramadan is that I can obviously fast the whole day. Weaknesses would be maybe reading more Quran because like how, how many choices do we have in our whole, in the whole year? Like Ramadan is one of the most important times and one of the only times that we can pay more attention and think more about the whole concept of creation. Ramadan inspires me to pay more attention to the poor people, think more about myself and why I'm created and to think about the whole of creation. In Ramadan, I socialize more with people, I'm more with friends and family and that's one of the good things about the Hodi month of Ramadan. The religious things I do is, well, mustaha prayers and especially reading more Quran and when we reach the nights of Qadr that are better than a thousand years, there are special supplications. They're really long, really long supplications that well, I would read them at that time, but these supplications, I find it hard to read them throughout the year. They have a lot of meanings.
I am proud to be a British Muslim and and it's it has a really good feeling when I know that I'm a Muslim not to be proud when being in front of people from different faiths but it makes me feel special being a Muslim being a British Muslim in the UK.